Oh, hey guys, how are you doing? So I thought I would walk you through how I got to level 50 really quickly. So it took me about five or six hours to get to level 50. And to be honest, when I discovered this method, it's uh, really, really, really sped up the process. So we're going to run through the whole video here, but I kind of think it's worth watching. Um, so at the moment, I'm basically handing in all my stuff that I've just done, basically all the different quests. Now, um, you can actually get to this area in the top right of Ashenvale, and I previously made a video about how exactly the quest system works. But as you guys can see, I have a huge number of um, quests to share and envelopes to open, which will basically get me up to the 16 or 17 quests that um, I need. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've handed in my stuff. Now I am going to go through the portal, and I'm still sorting everything out. So that's pretty good. Um, unfortunately, this is a bit of an inventory management game at the moment, right? Because, <laughs> well, you can clearly see we have all these different quests and all these different quest items. Now, it's important to know that you should be in a group with five people. And right now, if you say that you're like just a normal person who wants to be in a group, then, you know, there's a very good chance someone will let you in. And I have to say, the amount of experience and money you get has been nerfed three or four times already. Like, for example, yesterday we were getting five gold per quest. Now it's down to about one gold per quest. But I can tell you, by the time I reach level 50, um, I actually have about 215 gold. So that's pretty good. So as you guys can see, I'm just sorting out my quests. Um, and we have gone to this particular area okay it is at the bottom of the portal now the reason is um periodically there are people who are on escort quests and um the escort npcs basically come to the entrance here and everyone in the vicinity will actually complete the quest automatically so um this is why we spend as much time here as possible and um, this is where we sort all our quests out and get everything ready because you can actually do about three quests here just by standing here. Like literally that is all you have to do is just stand here and you'll get hand ins. So that's pretty freaking good. So what I'm going to basically do is when I've sorted everything out, well, we're also waiting for people to come. Um, I'm going to share all my quests by basically clicking on the person on the left and clicking on all the little stars here so that um, everything is shared. I'm going to jump ahead a little tiny bit. So as you guys can see, I am sharing everything. Everyone has arrived at the moment and we're basically going to get ready to go pretty soon, I think. Um, okay, I guess we could jump forward slightly. Um, so basically, yeah, go down the list on the left hand side, click every single quest so that everybody gets every quest. Um, everybody else does the same so that everybody should have about 16 or 17 quests. I would also recommend that you cancel every single quest that isn't um, kind of relevant here because um, you need about 18 slots in order to get all the quests. Um, and you want as many as possible, really, because we're going to be doing the run. And... I think we're basically saying that we're ready to go at this point. You may also notice there are people in sleeping bags. Now, if you sleep for three minutes, you get a 3% um, boost in XP, which is pretty freaking good, actually. So um, if someone in your group has got a sleeping bag, you know, you can actually sleep here, get the um, quests delivered to you basically automatically, and, um, you know, obviously get the bonus and sort everything out. Um, so yeah, as you can see, my quest log's pretty full at the moment. I'm at level 45, but you can go all the way to level 50, basically, just using these quests. And um, I think I'm pretty much ready to go. People are saying we've got about 15 quests. I wonder if we can jump forward again. A little tiny bit. Okay, so we, we've, um, we've decided we're all going to go, and... Um, I'm now running in this direction. There's only really one direction that you can go once you've gone through the portal. And we are heading towards the egg. Now, if you don't know what the egg is, the egg is the first item that you want. And the egg is in the section with all the dragons. The egg is actually in the ruins. I'm, you'll, you guys will see it in a minute. 
Now, there are quests to basically kill the mobs in the area, so you have to kill a whole bunch of dragons and stuff. Um, these will typically be skipped because we only really want the hand in um, quest, right? So here's the egg on the left here. You can see everyone is looting the egg. And um, that's pretty good. We, we have the egg. Um, there's quest to kill the dragon, but the problem with that quest is you need to actually be the group that um, pulls the dragon, you know, that actually has the aggro. Um, so um, that means that it's quite tricky sometimes. I've got the second quest done. That is to talk to the ghost on the bridge, right? There's a little bridge directly in front of you once you've got the egg. And there's a little kind of... Um, rogue on there who's stealth so you run up the bridge you talk to him so we've done two of the quests so far now we are going to um satinar and um i've done this like 20 or 30 times today the first thing we're gonna do is go behind the temple here and there is another guy who is stealthed again he gives you another report so we now have um three quests done and um each of these give about 7,000 or 8,000 experience. Now, on the right here, um, we have another item that you can see. It's a piece of paper. And I don't know if I have this quest because I think we messed up here. Um, but if you can't get the piece of paper, then, you know, keep trying if you have the quest because it's a little bit buggy. Um, and as you can see, right, we have a big fat, like, um, Kodo here. <laughs> and the Kodo is kind of getting in the way of everyone. Oh, look. There we go. We've picked it up. There we go. Fourth quest done. And, um... There is another quest to actually kill these guys, these satyrs. And to kill the satyr boss. But again, it's not really worth doing this because it just takes too much freaking time. And, you know, efficiency is the key. We've done, um, four quests in about two, three minutes at the moment. So that's pretty good. And... The next place we are running to is the Lumber Mill. Now, the Lumber Mill is kind of annoying because there's quite a few mobs that will try to attack you. Um, but, you know, it's actually not too bad. So, um, you can even take a left hit here or just kind of... I actually go the wrong direction. So, <laughs> as you guys can see, I'm now taking the left, which is the better path. And... What we want is we want to go to the main building that you can see directly in front of us on the left. And in there, in the centre, um, just at the back of the room, there is um, another quest item guy. And um, they're stealthed. And again, that'll be your, what, fifth quest item that you're going to get, basically, for your fifth quest. Now, bear in mind, as you run around this area, um, all of your other quests might be automatically completed. Um, I do want to also point out that we probably got three quests done before we even started because there are um, basically escort quests, like I said. Now, I don't actually have the quest for this because we messed up, but um, that's where the next quest is. Anyway, where we started um, and went through the portal, um, three escort quests there. So even though I think I've just done five, is it? We've actually done eight quests already um, in the time that we've been watching this video. <laughs> I could have messed that up. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Next, we are going for the box or the engine. And it is literally on the left here in this little um, orky mining thing. So, again, we've messed up a quest here, but we don't normally do this. We normally get quests every single time, but the box that I just saw is the one that you want to grab. So this is basically a triangle, right? We go to the dragon area, then we go to the satyr area, then we go to the wood chopping area. Um, two quests in each, just to pick up. Now we are running back to the beginning. Um, so again, you pretty much follow everybody else. And yeah, as you guys can see on the map, we're just literally running north back to the portal where we can go and hand everything in. I'm going to skip slightly forward. Cool. 
So yeah, we're at the portal. As you can see on this side of the portal, the um, Emerald Nightmare, there's no hand in or anything, so we have to go back to the normal world in order to hand that in. You know, which isn't an issue. And here's the funny thing, right? There are actually other incursion events that are happening. This is obviously the area where um, we get people come and um, do the escort quests and they all finish here. So everyone in the area automatically gets a quest done or free. I think it's free in total. Um, okay, so I kind of skipped ahead a little bit, went through the portal and I'm running back to where I started basically. Now, what I would say is, right, what you have to basically do is um, go through this whole process, rinse and repeat, and, um, you know, manage your inventory at the correct starting area. And I would say that you can basically level all the way up to 50 in around about um, five or six hours which um isn't actually that bad i mean we do get the 50 percent xp bonus and um you know we've got all of these quests and bear in mind ordinarily we would get an extra two quests on top of the ones we just handed in um but yeah like i said the group actually messed up we didn't share properly but never mind um so that's cool though so i also just want to point out that um if you don't know what to do or whatever um generally speaking most people are going to be quite helpful but on the other hand if people have done this quest like 20 times today um they might be a little bit tired you know because i think it took about 20 times for me to get to level 50 um around about that anyway which um seems pretty standard um i was the third person in my guild to get to level 80 and i think at least one of them sort of did a lot last night um, now there is a possibility that they might nerf the DPS again, or they might nerf the amount of gold or experience that you can get from doing these quests, which would be a real shame, because I actually quite enjoyed leveling this way, and it's quite nice that you can level from 40 to 50 in a single afternoon, you know? Um, obviously you have to be a pretty hardcore player and stuff, but I quite enjoyed the group dynamics, you know, the fact that we were always teaming up in a group of five. Um, if someone drops out of a group, which might actually happen, then all I would say is just replace them with um, someone else. There's nearly always at the moment someone sort of saying, looking for group, you know, and those are the people that you want because they're the people who are kind of almost volunteering to sort of do it. So, you know, most of them know what they're doing. Some of them don't and some are completely bewildered. And, you know, we actually had quite a joke, you know, I kind of said this was like, um, like a milk round almost you know you sort of <laughs> go do your milk round come back refuel do it again um other people said that this is like an inventory <laughs> management simulator because you got to do so much like um inventory management which you know you have to throw away a lot of um stuff that you're not going to use and um it's a little bit waiting around for people but um it's actually not too bad uh, the other thing I would say is if you like need a break at one of these resets, you can stand here for about five minutes and still get quests just basically given to you. So if you get to this point, then you can, you know, get yourself a bed and whatever. Oh, in case you were wondering, I actually got tagged in PvP, so someone thought it'd be funny to kill me. But um, yeah, generally everybody was really well behaved and they don't want to go and attack someone because then they'll be in PvP. So I just res up at this point and just kind of carry on as like, you know, normal. And you know, we're not on a PvP server, but still, I mean, people were fairly well behaved, but this is because it's like Warcraft gamers care about efficiency, you know? <laughs> Anyway, guys, I guess I will leave the video there, but this is, as far as I know, one of the fastest ways to level. Um, the other way that people like to level is obviously going to Zulfarak um, when you hit about um, level 45. Um, but yeah, personally, I'm kind of glad that the leveling process is done. And um, also, I should probably mention, I got some really nice pre-raid Biss gear. Um, that's like um, I level 50 I think so you know there's some pretty good gear I still kept some of my old gear but at the moment my character's got about 5% hit 
and crit is up to about 20 something percent so you know it's not amazing but it's fine um okay oh cool look here is um just to end the video more of me handing in quests um very very fun to be honest i've never handed in so many quests in my life um is this a little bit broken yeah probably uh, I mean, um, like I say, Blizzard have already nerfed it two or three times. Um, anyway, guys, um, have a good day and bye.